Hi everyone, this is Anthony from Windy Beard. Um, this video is about Geo. Um, it's a video to show what this game is all about and what you can get up to. So this here is the title screen. We'll go ahead and start a game. I have a save file here. It's only three minutes in. Um, that's the first three minutes, a few tutorials that it takes you through, which we're not going to need today. So we'll just jump straight in here. Okay, so this is your headquarters screen. Uh, I'll go ahead and explain what a few of these bits are for you. So this is your headquarters right here. You've got uh, some rooms here, but they're empty at the moment, as you can see, empty room. No stats at all. Doesn't give you anything. Uh, so that's no good. We're going to have to work on that. Over here you've got uh, your drill. This is your current drill that you'll be using to, to drill into planets and comets and things like that. And here is your rank, and that's the corporate division system. At the moment we're rank 10, bottom feeder. So we're going to have to work on that. So what we'll do uh, now is just explain what a few of these things are. Up here you've got your cash. That's how much money you've got. You're going to need a lot of that, a hell of a lot of that. Uh, to the right of that, these white orbs here, these are core fragments. Again, extremely important. Uh, these are obtained by drilling the very core of a planet or a comet. The bigger the planet, the more cores you get. We'll explain what they do in a bit, but they're uh, very important. Research coins here. Uh, these have a few uses in this game, uh, which I'll explain to you in uh, due time. But they're a, they're sort of like a secondary currency for upgrading certain things. Uh, and this little cash PM, that's a cash per mission. So for every room you build or crew member you hire, this value goes up, and that's how much it costs you per drilling session. So it's sort of taken off your your earnings. Um, okay, so here we are. What we're going to want to do here is um, start the game. So let's go ahead. We need to get these stats up um, so we can go out and start drilling. So what we'll do is build a few rooms. We start with uh, two and a half grand there. That's nice. So we hit build, rooms, pick rooms. So the only two rooms you start with here, we've got the storeroom and the shower room. So I'll have a quick look at these. So the storeroom, there you go, gives me power plus 10. So that's essentially going to double my strength, so I'm going to need that. It doesn't give me any speed. Uh, it gives me some health for my drill, uh, but it costs me 15 quid a mission, so that's something we need to watch out for. Um, also to note, down here we've got this one square here, so if I click on shower room, it's got two squares, different pictures in them. Okay, and what they are are, are, are crew slots. So when you hire crew members, you need to slot them into a room, give them some work to do. So this room here can take one uh, labourer type crew member. And there's four types of crew member. You've got labourer, uh, engineer, you've got a uh, business person, and a uh, scientist. Okay, so we'll build the shower, uh, the storeroom. We'll stick the storeroom here. And then there we go. Storeroom's built. Added to our stats there. As you can see, it's added 15 gold per mission. So we go ahead and click on that. But we've got a crew slot, but no crew members to put in it. So by clicking on this, it brings up this interface here, which will show you all the crew members of that type that you can put in this room. So what we'll do now is go ahead and hire a crew member. There's two available at the start, and as you can see here, they're both labourer types, so they can both fit in that slot. So I've got a look at their stats. This is Crazy Joe here. He's an unsuccessful moon farmer. Uh, there's his stats. Uh, and we'll have a look at Barry Blood Pressure as well. Uh, he's got slightly higher stats, costs a little bit more. But um, we'll go ahead and hire Barry Blood Pressure and we'll slap him in here. There we go. Click that. And there we go. So his stats are added to that, stated to that. Stats are getting nice and high. Uh, while this is up, if you was to mouse over this little symbol here, it shows you the stats of the room without the crew members. That's with crew members, without crew members. With, without. Uh, another piece of information while you're here is this little box here Crew EXP. Uh, so basically what this says is any crew members assigned to this room, any XP that you get whilst drilling will be times by this amount. So this is times one. So you just get a standard amount of the XP. Um, better rooms give better XP, which allow you to upgrade your crew members. Uh, to upgrade crew members, crew manage, and then it shows you all the crew members you have and the different types. Uh, at the moment we only have one hired. Uh, which is Barry Blood Pressure, we click on him, gives us information here, 
uh, but it also tells us how much EXP he has um, and then how much it costs to upgrade him. So if we can get 100 EXP, uh, we'll be able to upgrade Barry Blood Brusher for 1000 gold and that will give us three, in total three levels, so gold, silver and bronze. Uh, and those stats are added to your stats forever, whether he's in a room or not, these bonuses are, are, are always added. So they're extremely important. Okay, so we'll come out of there. We've still got 1250 gold, so we'll build a shower room. And we'll put that one in there. There it goes. So now we have two rooms, one crew member, which is Barry Prusher in there, and we've got two slots here, which are empty, but we cannot afford any crew members. We need to make some gold. Um, moving on from there, You've got some other buttons up here that show you different things. Tile and collection I'll explain in a minute. Astronomy uh, will show you a list of all the comets, moons, planets and gas giants you found uh, and give you any information about them. You can also fast travel to any location that you've found already. And in this instance I've already found the dusty rock. And if I was to hit that I'd go straight to it and I could start drilling without having to explore space to find it. <coughs> um, Moving on from there, you have research. Research takes you to another screen. And this screen here, throughout the game you'll collect items, uh, you'll drill tiles. I'll, I'll show you some more of that in a minute. Uh, and you can unlock research opportunities. At the moment I only have the one here, but I don't even know what item that is. We'd have to find it first, and whatever it needs, I need a hundred of them. Once I have that hundred, click on it, and I'll get one of these. And at the moment I need ten of those to unlock a new room. So there's a lot of items to collect and find, a lot of tiles to drill, and lots of rooms to unlock. And there's two pages of this, so we better get cracking and go back to the headquarters. So that's what the Geo tab does. Uh, if we go to shop, we've got four more options here. We've got the market. At the moment, we've got Dirty Joe's Emporium. This is the only store we have open and available to us. Uh, this is old Dirty Joe here. He's giving you a wave, uh, and he's selling Star. She's a crew member. As we can see, if we mouse over her, she is an engineer, and there's her stats. Uh, if we look at the bottom, so she costs 2,750 gold, which we definitely don't have. Um, but it's good to know that she's there. Uh, we can come get her when we, we earn a bit of cash. Uh, the Cautrium, we'll take a look at this quickly. Uh, when you drill, you earn cash. And as I explained earlier, these white orbs are core fragments, and this is what the core fragments are for. This is very important. So, the core trim is essentially a massive machine, it goes on all the way up, all the way up to here. Just scroll back down to the bottom and mouse over this first one here. So, in order to buy this segment of the core trim, we need 4,000 gold uh, and one core fragment, and that will give us drill health plus 3%, which is, can be a huge boost. Um, and that 3% is added to your stats at all times. So it'll always add 3%. No matter what your base that is, it'll always add that extra 3%. Um, these green ones here are very important. By purchasing the green ones, you will upgrade the size of your headquarters. So at the moment, we only have two vacant rooms, which we now have built rooms in. Unlocking this will add more rooms to our headquarters, increasing the size of our headquarters, allowing us to buy more rooms, add more crew members, get more stats which allows us to drill better and harder planets, make more money and that's how we go. So all of these have different bonuses, acid resistance which I will explain in a minute and there's, a, there's many other perks you can get out of this. Uh, the red one here, this will unlock uh, more planets and comets and things that can be found. So to start the game off there is a, uh, an amount of different planets and comets that you can find um, by purchasing this red one that will increase that pool of planets and comets, adding loads more things that you can find out in space and you'll understand that more when I show you in a second. Those are extremely important because um, there's lots of other things to find out in space which I will show you in a minute also. So the aim is to, to fill this up which will make you extremely powerful, which will allow you to go even further and drill bigger and better places. If we also go back to the shop, we have the research roulette. This is a sort of a little mini game. Uh, it can be quite important. Uh, it uses the green research coins, which I'll, we will find some in a minute when we go drilling. Uh, if we collect 500, it will give us a chance to have a spin on the roulette. 
which will in turn increase the value of the tiles that we drill. Uh, we'll see some tiles in a minute uh, and you will understand further what that means but this can be very important as it will add 50% to that value of that tile forever. Very important. Moving on from there, we have drills. You can unlock new drills uh, and they have special abilities apart from the very first one. Clap trap doesn't have much at all, it's just your standard drill. But as we progress and unlock further drills throughout the game, they have bigger and better bonuses and powers. So they are well worth unlocking and using. Um, exploration this is when you can explore the cosmos, which we will do in a second. But before we go there, we'll just have a quick look at the office. This is where you've got your stats. So it gives you a little more in depth view of your stats. Uh, so for example our power is 37 as it says up here but it also will show you the percentage increases that you've obtained from the core trio so it will tell you how much percent boost you'll get on top of that as that for all your stats here uh, it also has other bits of information here for you so it tells you how many rooms you know about how many crew members you hired we've only hired one out of 96 so we've still got a way to go the research that we've just seen is 320 of those and so on so they're worth having a look at this uh, grid over here, this is your achievements. Now, if you're playing the Steam version, they will also equate to the Steam achievement, uh, but they'll also be viewable in here. Uh, moving on from that, you have the ranking. Uh, this is very important. Um, at the moment, we're 10th, and that's in the 10th division, which is not good at all. That's not going to help us. So we need to increase that. And your score is increased by everything you do. So every piece of research you unlock, every crew member that you find, every room that you unlock, every core that you drill, everything in the core trim that you buy will add to this score. Uh, it'll propel you up this list and once you get to number one you'll be given a big prize that you can unlock. Uh, it could be a room, it could be crew members, it could be a combination of the two and a nice big fat stack of cash uh, and then it'll jump you up to division nine once we finish this one, eight, seven, six and so on. Um, and it'll also change your icon here. Um, okay, so let's go exploring. So we've built everything we can. Can't do much more else here, so off we go. Uh, this is the cosmos. So we've only got a training map. This is the training system here. And this is what I'm going to play through in this video. Um, at the moment you can see that there's just one square uncovered on that map and that's got the dusty rock in it. And it also says that there are eight objects in this quadrant to find. So under eight of these squares, or seven, because one's already uncovered, there will be an object for us to investigate. Um, and before we explore, last thing is here, is you can explore new quadrants. However, at this time, it's currently unavailable because we still need to increase the size of our headquarters at least once before that becomes available to us. Uh, and this is when things get really interesting. But we'll, we'll, we'll come to that when we get there. Okay, so let's, let's go exploring. So here explore, auto saving for us, and here we are in space. So there's my drill, here I am. I can't really move around a lot because I can't go anywhere, but I can go between these squares here. So this is the square that's uncovered, and underneath it is the drill site, level one dusty rock. If we hit the I information, it'll bring up its information for us. Uh, it just gives a little description of the comet and it gives us its depth, gravity and its elements. These are very important. The depth is how many tiles down it is. So this is 40 kilometers. That means there's 40 tiles to drill down before you reach the core. It also has a gravity of one uh, and the gravity affects the density of the tiles. So the tiles get tougher to drill the deeper you go. Uh, this has a large effect if you have a very deep planet, a very large planet and a very high gravity. That can be an absolute nightmare but you need to build your stats up to get through those ones but the bonuses will be well worth it uh, you also have your elements here the dusty rock has no element so we don't need to worry about that we'll come to that in a bit and also under here you have your research which i will explain more about in a minute <clears throat> so let's drill the dusty rock in we go okay so here we are before we get drilling, I'll explain uh, a couple of bits of the information on the on the UI above. You've got your cash here. This is how much cash you've earned. At the moment, we're minus 55, and that's because of the cost of the rooms and the crew members. So the cost PM, or the cost per mission, 
that's what's deducted here. Um, you cannot go into negative money on this game, so if you was to fail now or exit out, you wouldn't lose 55 gold, you would simply earn zero. Above that you've got your gold multiplier, so this, this can increase the amount of gold you have. Um, that's very important uh, and becomes more relevant a bit later in the game. At the very beginning you don't really see much movement there. But this is your drill health, extremely important. Um, when this bar reach goes all the way down and these numbers reach zero, that's it, your drill will explode. Um, not a problem, you have infinite drills, you just start again. Earning more money every single time you drill. Um, so you build up a nice cash pool and you can go back, upgrade, try again if you're struggling to get to the bottom. Uh, here you just have the name, level 1 Dusty Rock, uh, and this 1G is 1 Gravity, so it gives you a little indication of its gravity. Um, and underneath you have your depth. So at the moment we're 0 kilometers out of 40, so we need to get to 40 to reach the bottom. Uh, one last thing here is your research. So these green coins, uh, we have 0, but we need 50. Uh, when we're drilling, there is a small chance that these tiles can um, drop research coins, and those research coins are important. Uh, every single planet and comet and everything we find uh, has a research quota. Collecting enough coins on any drill site will unlock research opportunities in the research screen which will allow us to unlock new rooms uh, which we will look into again in a minute. So let's just go for it. Okay, so here we go. We don't want to hang around too much but uh, I don't imagine we're going to get very far. As we're drilling down you will see chests there. There we go. Let's have a look in the chest. A nice big chunk of gold. Let's keep going. Uh, you'll find crates and things on the way down. So this is a research crate. So we just earned 10 research. Uh, all these tiles have different information. So this is a dust tile. It has a specific amount of gold it gives, a certain amount of health which will damage your drill and so on. So you need to take care when drilling because uh, you don't want to hit something difficult. So this copper tile here, for example, I can drill through that clay and that dust real easy, but if we go and give the copper a go, it wipes me out. Didn't stand a chance. I've got to build up my stats by buying new rooms, hiring crew members, etc. Get nice and strong, come back, and I'll drill through that like it's nothing. Okay, so drill exploded. Never mind. Let's go again. We uh, now have 802 total gold. We earned 6 crew EXP, 22 research coins, and we drilled 1 of these, 5 of these, and 25 of these. So let's go again, and a bit more cash. It's um, part of the game to, when you explode and start again, that's that's how it's done. But you want to, each time, try and get a little bit further and, and figure out little patterns that you can do to try and get down deeper. Get some health there. So we'll see if we can go for the core. It's, it's highly unlikely we'll make it without upgrading further. Okay, there you see there. That's an item. That's a, that was a can. Uh, so there's over there's 120 of those to find in this game. Different items, and they can be used in research, uh, among other things. So they're very important, and they're found in chests and things like that. Okay, so we didn't make it down that time. So what we'll do is we'll nip back to the headquarters um, and use everything that we've got. So we'll run through quickly some things that you can do. So there's our cash, we've made a bit more money. We'll hire this guy here, Crazy Joe. And we'll stick him in here, in the crew slot. Here we go. So our stats have already gone up a bit, so next ride will be a bit easier. You also note that this has got crew EXP of 1.1. So we'll, we're earning more EXP for him than we are for him, due to the room's uh, statistics. It's also worth having a look every time you come back. Quick look in here to see if anyone could be leveled up which they can't, but he's uh, he's on his way. Uh, when you come here, you'll, you'll see a little green shooting am uh, arrow floating above their head when they're ready to be uh, leveled up, so you don't need to click on them all. You can get a nice quick view of who's who's ready to be powered up. Because um, we've been drilling, if we go to the tile section, we can see the tiles that we've drilled. So we've drilled five mud, 17 clay, and 65 dust. And each one of these has their own information, like I said. So you've got your clay here, let's have a look. It's, it's worth 10, uh, and its health is 3 to 6. So it's randomly between 3 and 6 for this, this tile. Mud's 3 to 5, dust is also 3 to 5. You'll also notice that you have a, a bar here. 
uh, by drilling 250, so it's asking for 250, if you can hit above or on that number, you'll get an opportunity to um, to learn more about this tile, which we'll look at in a bit, which gives you a few more opportunities and you can earn some cash that way. Same, exactly the same with the collection. We did find an old can, there it is, but we need to collect 10 of those. Um, if we pop over to the research screen that we looked at earlier, because now that we've found it, we know what it is, and it's mud. So we need a hundred of those, we only have five, so we're a long way off there. Uh, if we go back to the astronomy screen, so we look at level one dusty rock, which is the one we've drilled, and we can see the items that we've found in there. So these are the tiles that we found, the item that we found. But you'll also see that there's four greyed out tiles, there's four more tiles that we didn't drill, two items that we didn't find. Uh, this is extremely useful later in the game when you're trying to find specific tiles and items. You can go back through your, your astronomy screen and, and, and look at each planet and comment and see if, if they have the item that you're looking for. Uh, let's have a look in the market. Can't afford star. So what we'll do is we'll go back and explore the dusty rock. But before we do that, we've got this amount of money spare, so let's see what we can do. We can explore a bit further out. So. If we click on this square here, it's 250 gold. Let's have a look, see what's underneath. Just click this. Sadly, there was nothing under that one. That's a shame. But it's uh, it's all about just exploring and seeing what you can find. So we'll have a look under this one. Again, nothing. Some have stuff, some don't. There we go. So we found a chest under that one. We'll open that, see what it's got. So we found a little bit of cash, and we got a, a weird item there, which is a bag of flour. So out of 240 items, it's just 120 items, sorry, and that's just given us one we haven't found, which can be useful. Um, let's drill again. This time we'll see if we can reach the core. We've increased our stats a little. Let's have a go. Here we go. So we know to keep away from the harder tiles. So for example, that's a stone. That, that'll do us some damage. We need to collect the research to fill that up. So that's nearly there. And we'll hit this. This is a, an explosive crate. Big damage, lots of cash, and that help us get down as far as we can. Um, you'll also note at the top left of the screen here, there is a speed pressure gauge, just research unlocked. So we filled that bar, unlocked the research, which I'll explain further in a minute. You have a speed gauge here, so your speed stat, uh, the deeper down you go, the lower your speed will decrease. Once that goes into negative, so that goes into minus figures, it'll turn red and your drill will start to slow down the deeper it goes. Um, that's the importance of your speed stat, so you need to make sure that that's nice and high, uh, because if you're drilling a place with a stronger gravity or that's much deeper, that will decrease. If it gets to minus 40, that's it. Drill stops, you can't go anywhere. It's game over, you have to start, uh, start the drill again. So we'll have one more go at that. We made a bit of cash. And this time, let's see if we can get all the way to the bottom. So we'll pick up some health, that's useful. Keep going. Let's see if we can make it down. Explosive, very helpful. Let's take the chest while we're here. Nice bit of cash. Near God knows we need it. So we're only, this moment in time, we're seven kilometers from the core. We should be able to make this. We'll definitely make it now with the health. And we've reached the core. And we've got another little item there. So we'll drill the core. And on this first planet, it's nice and easy, straight down. And we just about drill the core. We get a nice bit of cash. And then hopefully we'll get some research, yes. And will we get some items? Yes, we did. And we got one core fragment, which is um, very useful. So we'll, we'll continue drilling for a little bit, make a little bit of extra cash before we head back and see what we can do with all that. Because we made a very substantial amount of cash with that drill quite a bit of research. This here is an elemental shield. This, this this comet doesn't have an element, so we won't worry about that too much at the moment. I'll explain that in a minute. And the drill's over. So we made a good amount of money, a lot of EXP, because we drilled the core. We've got some tiles and some items here, so we'll go back to the headquarters with our uh, newfound riches. Nice achievement there, because we drilled the first core. Um, and let's have a look. So let's have a look at our... Uh, crew members so these are both ready to upgrade as you can see we'll only upgrade one at the moment we'll go with Barry blood pressure we've got an achievement for that as well very nice first crew member leveled up and he gives us power plus three so it's a nice little bonus from him 
and that's your, your, your bronze. So silver, we need a thousand and ten thousand gold. So that's quite a quite a substantial chunk. Um, let's have a look at research because we unlock the research in that comet. Then we can see two more things available to us. So now we can say that we need 45 of those, but we only have four, and we need three of those, but we only have two. So we'll come back to that in a bit. Um, let's go back to the shop because we know that there's star in there. So star costs 2,750 gold. We'll take that. However, we can't put her in a room because we've only just unlocked her. We haven't hired her yet, so she's still a thousand gold to unlock, which we can't afford right now. So we won't worry about that for now. We need to make a bit of gold. Um, you'll also notice that my cash is now ticking up very slowly, but it is ticking up um, because I drilled that core of the comet. I'm now earning one gold per one thousand milliseconds, and you can check that out further in your astronomy screen. So there's the dusty rock. You can see here quickly that we've drilled the core and we have all the research. As you can see there, complete core drilled. And tell you that that core has given us one gold per click. So that's one gold per thousand milliseconds. Okay, so we have our core fragment, but no cash. So what we'll do is we'll drill that comet again real quick and we can fast travel to it, save us going out into, uh, out into space and exploring for it. We'll just drill straight away. So here we go, let's get make some cash and then we can hire a star or maybe explore a bit further in space, whatever we want to do. Um, what I'll do is explore after this and see what else we can find out in space, see if there's anything out, else out there for us to drill. Um, let's see what we can find out to do. Nice bit of cash. Oh, there's a light. It gives us a nice quick view. You can see two chests. We'll have those. Okay, so you, you will stumble across things like this. This uh, is, a, is a bonus, so that's just reduced the pressure on us. So now we have, we don't even need to worry about pressure. Uh, again, that's not overly important at this stage. Later in the game, it becomes increasingly important uh, as you try and drill bigger and deeper planets with higher gravity. That becomes very important. So we just keep drilling, make a little bit more cash. So we're, we're at 1,500 now. So we should have enough to. We definitely have enough to buy star. <coughs> There we go. Add that all up. Thank you very much. We'll go back to the headquarters and we'll hire her. A thousand. So she's got quite a bit of health there for us, which is good. So, and one ice resistance. So we'll, we'll buy her and we'll slot her in here. See, as you can see, it's an engineer slot. Uh, Star is an engineer. In she goes. So now we have two crew members in there. So one thing you need to remember is these crew members will not give you stat boosts unless they're installed into a room. If you haven't got them working, they're not worth anything to you. That's very important. Um, and there she is. Right, so we'll go back out into space and we'll explore a bit more, see what we can find. So we'll explore this one here. This is a thousand, so it's a little bit more expensive, but um, we'll explore it. Okay, so we have found another comet and it's the level one ice rock. Give you some information about it. 50 kilometers this time, so that's 10 kilometers further down to the core. And it also has one ice, uh, so that's something we need to be aware of. Um, as you can see, we've also showed you a little display that we've drilled that one, so we'll, we'll drill this one. So, as your stats showed you in the headquarters, that you have these elemental resistances. So, the, the ice damage of this comet is one, uh, so that would say negative one. But because we have ice resistance of one, it's gone to zero. Uh, much like the pressure, if this goes into negative numbers and turns red, we'll start taking damage over time uh, equal to that number. Um, so that's very important. These can be quite quite dangerous. You'll see the ice damage in a minute. So I'll start drilling, uh, and you'll see that ice damage start to come in as further down I go. So there it starts off quite lightly. And as it increases, the screen will start to shake and it will start to do me some damage. Uh, I won't get that the shield there, so you can see the, the elemental damage take effect. Here we go. So there you go. It's just dropped into minus one. If you look at my health now, it's ticking down one at a time. So we need to get moving. Uh, the deeper you go, 
the more the pressure builds, the higher the pressure, the more the damage the element will take from you. So it's extremely important that you uh, build your resistances. So we're lucky enough to have found a giant chest, so we'll draw that. And it's unlocked a new crate. So any time we drill now, we can find that crate type, and that was a 10% gold multiplier. So that can earn you lots of lots of gold if you start picking those up. Okay, so we, we didn't get to the core sadly, but we made a load of money. Uh, we got some EXP and we got some items. So we'll draw one more time, make a little bit more gold, and then uh, we'll go back to the headquarters, spend that gold, increase our power a little bit further, and then see if we can't get to the bottom of this um, comet and get the core. Uh, there we go, a bit of cash. So there's, there's a few ways you can play. You know, you can drill straight down if you wanted to. There's nothing stopping you do that. So that's a shield now. So this may be a negative, but I'm not taking any damage because of my shield. But it doesn't last long. Yeah, so you can drill straight down to the core if that's what you want to do. Um, it can be quite difficult. Oh, there's another chest there. We'll have that. That's quite, uh, that's quite lucky, that. What have been. We've got a load of items and cash, but no, uh, no new crate that time. We haven't seen that new crate yet, but we'll see if we can't find it. Okay, so we've got five and a half thousand nearly. Let's head back to the headquarters and spend that money. So, okay, so we'll go to the core trim. Because as we know, for one uh, core fragment of 4,000 gold, we can get 3% drill health. So we'll buy that. There we go, so we've unlocked that. And it's also unlocked this one. You see the pipe leads up, it'll unlock this one. So we need one more core and 6,000 gold, and we can unlock the next size of the headquarters. So we'll go back here. Uh, so we've got extra health. If we go to our stats screen, you can see drill health is adding 3%. So that's, that's a nice boost. So we'll go back to the Cosmos and we'll, uh, drill this. But before we do that, we'll explore a little bit more. So there's a... Let's try, explore this one here. So this is a thousand. We'll hit explore. And we've been confronted with this shiny token. We'll click on that. And it's a bonus. Dirty Joe's Emporium. Stock upgrade. That sounds good. We'll unlock that. And we found a crate. Dirty Joe's crate. And we're going to take it back to him. And it's unlocked new stock in his store. So let's excitedly head back and see what he's got in store for us. And he has a new room available for us to buy. And that's the rec room. 3,500 gold. And it gives us a lot of stat increase. So it's a 30 strength increase there, which is very important. But we'll go back and um, we need to earn some cash. So we'll drill this. So um, you just keep drilling, earning cash. But every time you're earning cash, you're drilling these tiles, which helps you for the research. See, we know we need a, th a hundred of these for one of the research squares, and so on, you know. And we're filling up our research coins here, so we've got 39 out of 55. So you're always earning money, you're always achieving something, you're always progressing. You know, there's always there's always stuff to be earned and to unlock. And for everything you unlock and earn, you become stronger and you can drill even further down. So, you know, look, we've, we're doing quite well this time around. We're probably not going to make it to the core, but we're not far off. 32 kilometers. Let's see if we can get that chest before we die. Yeah. So we made about 35 kilometers out of 50. Um, we'll go again, earn a bit more cash. And also on top of that, you get to listen to the uh, amazing soundtrack that was made by a good friend of mine, Neil Stevens, very talented musician. Uh, he's made full soundtrack, 24 track soundtrack to Geo, which I suggest you check out, which will also be available once Geo is released. Enough of a plug there, let's move on. So we're dr drilling some more crash crates, draw some more tiles, get that health, very important. More cash, and just make up to if we can make our way all the way down. Uh, nothing here this time, but we'll get that. So we're 38 kilometers now out of uh, 40. We could make this, it's very unlikely, but we'll try. As you can see, the pressure's starting to build as well. Minus three, slowing my drill down. But we weren't far from the core. I'll head back to the map. And what we'll do is we'll explore here. And we'll explore here. We found another stock item. 
Unlock that. We'll head back. We'll see what he's got in store for us. So he's got this fella here, Tiny Eyes. But he's uh, he's got very good stats. We're going to want to hire him. So he's 3,000 gold. I'm going to make it my next target is to, to, uh, to purchase him and put him in a room. But while we're here, we may as well have a look at our research, see if we've hit any of these. And yes, we have. There you go. So we've got 234 mud. We only need 100. So if we go ahead and click on that. There we go. We've got one of those now. We only need nine to unlock this room here. And the idea is to try and fill all of this by collecting items and tiles and unlocking all the rooms. The, the more you unlock, the better the rooms get as well. So it's extremely important. And we also got a nice achievement there. Let's go back and explore this guy again. Earn a bit more cash and, and buy this if we could buy tiny eyes. Here we go. Let's keep drilling. Okay, there we go, chest. A bit of a dry run this one, not making a lot of money, sadly, but sometimes it's, it's the way the cookie crumbles. Seven hundred and two. Not a good run. But we'll go again. Hopefully we'll earn a, a better amount of money this time. Here we go. Let's hit that. Nice. Oh there we go. It's a ten percent multiplier crate and research unlocked. So even with a bad run like we had last time, we still unlocked things, we still found things, we still obtained more cash, more items, research, more tiles. Uh, so getting to the core is your primary goal, but there's there's a lot of secondary goals that you're always achieving something. So as you look now, we've got a 20% multiplier. We keep that going, get all these shields, because they do add up. Um, let's see if we can make the core actually, we might do it here. If I'm lucky, we'll get that, get the health. This coin here destroys all the enemies. We're going to make this, let's drill the core. I've still got my shield, so, and as soon as we destroyed that core, the element's gone. We know that elemental resistance is no longer something to worry about on this map. Got a nice amount of items, and another core. Which is, um, which is very good news. So as I said, these these are very rare. These pop up every now and then if you're lucky. And this one here will kill any monster on the uh, in the zone. Um, lucky for us, the tutorial zone does not contain any monsters. They appear once you unlock your first random quadrant. We'll take that, and then we explode. So a huge amount of cash that time, five thousand. And a lot of crew XP, so that's good news. We'll head back and buy Tiny Eyes. Let's buy Tiny Eyes. There he is. Look at his Tiny Eyes. We'll buy him. And then we'll hire him. So not cheap, but uh, worth it. And what we'll do is we'll take... We haven't got any crew slots available for him. So what we'll do is we'll take out him. Because, as you can see, his stats against his significantly different. So we'll pop Tiny Eyes in. There we go, so our stats are now much higher. Um, we'll also have a look at tiles, because as you can see, this is little ghost icons here. If we click on it, that ghost icon means that we have enough of that item to uh, unlock a medal. So here it calls for 250 mud. We have 256, hence why you've got the little ghost icon. It's telling you that you have this, so we'll go ahead and hit that. So we just, oh, and we've got an achievement, very nice. But we've got one medal now. Um, and also, as you can see here, we can now fuse mud. Okay, so 100 mud will make one copper. And we have 256 mud, so if we were to hit fuse, there you go, we now have one copper. And you can only fuse items and tiles that you have unlocked the medal. So we can also do dust, so once 250, we have 270. Run like that. The dust you can turn into mud, so we've got plenty of mud, we don't really need to worry about that. But some of these tiles, and a lot of the tiles, uh, especially the late game tiles, will unlock items, will fuse into items for your collection, um, which is extremely important. 
so we have two medals now. Uh, I'll show you what else you can do with those. Our collection is also starting to look a bit healthy. We've got several items in here. And we have eight red threads. So two more of those, we can unlock a medal for the red thread. And it, every single medal we unlock gives us more and more cash each time. Every single time, more and more money. That's another good way to build money. Uh, these medals are used to unlock new drills. So we need 20 to unlock the next drill. Okay, so we need uh, one core fragment and 6,000 gold to unlock a headquarters upgrade in the Quartrium. So we'll try and earn that cash real quick. Go to astronomy, we'll look here so we can see that we've unlocked the core there and we've caught the research on this one. And you can also see that we're also earning one gold per click, so one gold per thousand milliseconds from this and this. So now we're earning two gold. And there you can build up your cash nicely that way. The bigger the planet, the more that'll be. So that might be a 10, 20 in there. So this this really starts to add up. So we'll jump back into this one. Earn a little bit of cash, and then we'll get the uh, crew up, uh, the headquarters upgrade, and I'll show you what happens from there. So the tiles on the planet are also um, set to rarity. So, for example, this planet, uh, this comet, you can see that you see a lot of mud, and you see a lot of these pebbles here. You see a little bit of this ice water. And some stone, but you'll also see rare tiles as well. There was one up here that, that appears rarely. So you've got the frozen mud there, which is quite rare. There was one. I've lost it now. That's the problem, you see. You need to keep your eyes out. Because they're very important. Very important. Not a lot of cash, but it's getting there. We'll keep going. Go again. Um, so we've drilled the core on this comet. So if I was to get to the bottom again, the core's not there. You can only drill the core once. Um, you do get other opportunities later in the game, so now that we've drilled this level 1 ice rock, uh, when we explore for a new quadrant, there is a chance that we'll find a level 2 ice rock, um, which will be significantly harder than this one, and we'll also have another core. And that happens for every single comet and planet you can find um, up to level 3. Uh, and level 3 planets and comets are very difficult, as you can imagine. They get harder and harder. So this is quite a good run. Get that chest there. Keep going. Cash mark by nice. Shield. Another shield. Very nice. Let's see if we can make 2,000. Mm, I don't think I'm going to make it, but we still earn a good bit of cash. So I think we now have enough. Yes, we do. We have enough to unlock the next core trim, which we'll do straight away. So. Go to shop, core trim. Okay, so it's a nice big green one. This is very important. 6,000 gold, one core fragment. We'll have some of that. There it goes. HQ size upgraded. And now we can go either two ways. So we could go this way and get power plus two. If we have the money and cores, we can go this way. Cold resistance plus 2%. We can go whichever way we want and make our way up. Up the core trim, unlocking new room sizes and more cores and... Acid resistance, speed increases, cash values. There's loads of bonuses in there to find. So we go back. Achievement for upgrading for the first time. Now we have two more rooms there, two spare rooms. But we don't have any rooms to build, so we need to sort that out. So if we go to our ranking, let's see how we're doing. So we're fifth in the tenth division because we've got 81 points. Uh, we just need to get to 120 plus to, to unlock the next one. We can also have a look in the research, see if we've got a... So we can afford that. So that's five needed. Six we have. We'll unlock that. There we go. Get in there. Okay, so if we go to explore now, we'll have Navi pop up and give us a little talking to. Um, what Navi's explaining here, which I'm going to click through nice and quick, is that we now have the ability to search for a new quadrant. Okay, searching for a new quadrants is what this game's all about. So that quadrant that we started with there was like a, a training quadrant. And it's nice and easy, there's nothing really to worry about, nothing's too expensive, nothing's too difficult. Um, but this is where things can change. So we, luckily for us, Navi's nice and friendly and he's paid the fee to find the first quadrant, which is 30,000 gold, which is a lot of money. 
uh, but this for the first one is completely free. So what we can do is we can either search for a new quadrant, which will wipe the old quadrant from existence, we'll lose it, or we can carry on exploring the one we have. Now, there's a few things you should know. If you do search for a new quadrant, uh, so it will replace this quadrant with a new one. It could be much bigger, it could be this big here with you know 26 quadrant objects to look for, and, or it could be really small with not a lot in it. You never know what you're going to find out in space, um, but you just keep exploring and finding things. Um, but what you need to remember is, is so anything that we haven't found here in these squares will be gone. It may appear in other quadrants, well it, it will do at some point, but whatever's here now we may have to search two or three more quadrants before it comes back round again, um, because there are a lot of things to find out there. So it, the choice is up to you, what you do. You can do whatever you want and you can always revisit places you've been to through the astronomy screen by fast travelling. So you can always revisit them. So even if you haven't drilled the core or clipped all the research, it'll still be logged here and you can fast travel to it. So what we'll do uh, for the sake of this video is we'll go ahead and search a new quadrant. There we go. So we'll do that. And we'll go to explore cosmos. So there it is. Noshiomia Sigma 66. 18 objects in there. And we'll go ahead and explore that. So here we are, we're down here. So now we can explore. So that's 752. We can afford that. We found this little fella here. Uh, it's a rogue comet. Nothing of value here. No good to us. We want something worth something. So we'll keep going. Here we go. We found Lecreon, which is a moon. So it's double the size of a comet. If we look at this information, it's 80 kilometers. 75 research. So that, that's, that's how it works. You just keep exploring. Keep exploring. So we'll quickly drill that. I don't think I'll do very well. I need to earn a lot more money before we can even attempt to do this. Build our stats up, but we'll have a go. We could make a load of cash. Let's see how we get on. Here we go. So as you can see, there's loads of new tiles. Every comet, planet has a different makeup of tiles and items. And as you can see, the monsters are starting to appear. So we don't want to drill that. Do not want to drill that. But we can drill in. So as you can see, we earn a lot more cash here, a lot quicker, much bigger planet, more money to be made. And we keep on drilling. Making money. So these tiles, so you can see these new tiles coming through. This is a blue tile, but the damage it's doing to me is tremendous. There we go. So we made a fair bit of cash really quickly. I don't know, if you think if you get quite further down, you make a lot more money than that. We'll go back to the map, see what else there is to find. We can have a quick look. Let's have a look. There's another moon. Kragopolis. This one's quite hot. It's got four. So that'll be doing you some damage as you go down. So that's that's basically how you explore the cosmos. There's another moon. And this is a good cos this is a good quadrant. Lots to be found here. New stock. Got a new item in Joe's. So you just keep exploring, finding things. There's lots of things to find out here. Let's see what else you can find. Uh, Dull asteroids, nothing there. Let's see what else we've got. Let me look at the cost. So we'll go for a nice cheap one. There's a new research. There we go. So if we head back to our research. There we go. Research. Okay, so it's that. We've got all these. Let's just keep building it up. More research. And if we go to our astronomy, we go to moon, you can see, there we go, Lecreon, the first moon that we found, there he is. Keeps his information, we can fast travel to him if we want. Uh, we go back to comets, there's also, you can scroll down pages. And there you go from there. So you just keep going, so we can upgrade him if we have the cash, which we don't. Keep exploring space, we unlocked this fella. 15,000, but uh, he's got very high stats, he's got about 40 strength, 85 to your health, 10 to speed, uh, and he's a scientist, so that's, that's how you do it. So, what I would do next would be to try and unlock this. I'd make a bit of cash, buy that, build it, find some more crew members, stick the crew members in, round and round we go. Okay, well, I hope that's shed some light on what Geo is. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and check out Geo, it's released on the 31st of January 2017 on Steam. Uh, also released alongside it is the soundtrack, which I hope from this video you've seen is 
very nice soundtrack. And I hope you enjoy the game. Thank you very much for watching.